Hey guys, Too Busy here with another Too Busy's Tech Tip. This week it's Too Busy's Top 3 Redfish Flies from Charleston, South Carolina. Number one, without a doubt, is going to be the Copperhead Crab. This is the number one producer for me around here on the flats. You can see this one's pretty well chewed up. But it's uh, copper colored, lead head. We've got a uh, barred hackle that simulates pinchers for a small crab on the flat. This one, put it out there, let it hit the bottom, twitch it once or twice in front of a tailor, and it's going to get eaten. Number two for me is my ginger shrimp. You can see it right here. It's ginger hackle, a little bit of copper flash, some flashaboo, mono eyes, and light brown bucktail. Again, it's a lead head fly. Toss it out, let it sink. Give it about a four inch pop whenever a fish is anywhere close, and they're going to be all over this fly as well. Number three for me is Mad Mike's Mud Minnow. This is a bunny hair fly. It's got a uh, bright red lead, lead head eyes on it. It's got good sink, and then you still see the copper flash as well as some barred copper and black silly legs on it. This one has good movement, really good action. And again, this is one that you're going to pop, toss this one out there near a tailing fish, let it sink to the bottom, and then slowly give it little twitchy retreats. You can move it a little bit at a time through the water column. This is another big producer. All three of these flies are tied inverted. This one, the bunny hair, does a really good job of being a weed guard. These two I would normally tie with weed guards. The buck hair, buck tail helps a bit with this one. This one had a weed guard, but it's been eaten by about six different reds, so this one it's time for the trash bin. But all three of those are great producers, should work well for you. These are really good stained water flies. That's it for this episode of Two Busy's Tech Tips. I'll see you again soon.